How's it going, bros? So today, I have decided to make a quick little video on um, a Christmas present I got yesterday. To be honest, I've never looked it up. I didn't even know these existed. And it's a 3D shadow light. This goes under your door. And the light that, that your door has stock goes under your door. And basically, this little thing reflects your um, the BMW emblem to the ground. I've never done this before. I didn't, I didn't even know these existed. I don't know how it works. So, today I will be showing you how to install a 3D shadow light. I'm guessing it's that thing right there. It's that light that pops off. That light is basically the same thing as the one that I have over there. Guys, these plastic tools are a lifesaver. Especially like for stuff like this where you don't want to scratch your interior and stuff. It's really good. I would highly recommend them. There. Basically, you want to undo this part over here. It's got a little little lip. I'm guessing you that pops open, and then in goes the other light. All right, guys. So apparently, those this thing is way too thick for the little opening that the light has. Loved it with these little set of tools, tools because these are really thin. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So now that this thing is done, it was literally the easiest thing. It just it just popped right open. Um, you unhook this little clip right here so this part stays on the light and this is the part that comes off I'm guessing that this goes this clip right there goes in there and we should have light and there you have it that was really easy you just clip the same one that was in there and if you guys can see there's the uh, the emblem, and I'm guessing it shows up at the bottom when it's at night, which is pretty cool, guys. It's pretty clear, actually. At night, I'm gonna finish this video and show you guys how uh, it turned out. Obviously, I'm gonna keep these because these are um, from the car, so I don't wanna throw these away. That was probably the easiest installation I've ever done on anything. I'm guessing it's universal because it doesn't have any like sign for like it's specifically for an E92 I don't know um, I have to look it up but it's pretty cool it's called 3D shadow light and um, it's really easy just basically the same module but with the light that says BMW at the bottom and it reflects it on the ground um, I'm gonna show you guys at night and right now it's just a really gloomy day in Florida alright guys so it is now nighttime the GoPro is really struggling to keep up because it does not work well at night but anyways um here is the how it looks at night I just unlocked my car and you go to open it and it is really really nice it just reflects down there like I showed you guys in the morning and yeah I'm really really happy how it turned out not gonna lie like I don't know how much it was but it's just it's not that expensive and it's universal and it looks really really dope so highly recommend it if you guys are just doing like a little Christmas gift or you know somebody that has a BMW and they really like it enough to do that and um, yeah that's that's how it looks Guys, I just wanted to show you a little uh, installation on that I thought it'd be pretty cool I have nothing to do today and I kind of want to post a video but oh my god my phone was in here the entire time Jesus I will be stripping the car soon um, I know I'm gonna do the rear only and then see if I can have a guy to patch with black carpet the missing piece because I don't want to see metal I want this build to be really clean look how ugly this steering wheel is daily thoughts on how fucking nasty this thing is it's so gross what I'm going to do I took these carpets out the the ones that were in there because it was kind of gross um like they were just shedding at the bottom and it'd be like dirty all the time so i just decided just to take them out but yeah <clears throat> this probably has to weigh at least like all together maybe 50 pounds plus like the carpet and all that stuff you see this is what i don't want to show let me see if i can just rip this off and just like have clean black metal 
think that'll look so dope. Or I just put it all over carpet. I'm not sure. But that's going away. This should be relatively easy to do, to be honest. And this sticker, I keep telling myself I'm going to take it out, but I never do. So I think I'm going to do that right now. So I've heard that WD-40 works wonders with taking stickers and crap off your windows. And I got a flat um, blade. Set you guys down, and I'm going to do this. to take off this as well this sticker guys the guy who I bought it from was a collector and basically this is the sticker that was on the vehicle when it was being sold so you know whenever you go to a dealership and you see like the stickers on the back where it tells you like the price and like what it's had like what it has this is basically the same thing as car needs a paint job ASAP as you can see all right I'm gonna take that one out Eventually, I'm gonna tint the car, but like negative, like really, really black. So I don't want to have to deal with it later. So now that that's done, guys, I kind of want to paint the grills black, gloss black. They're pretty worn out. They're really worn out, actually. I'm gonna see if I can give them a good clean. There might be a way to take them out without needing take all that out and there it is all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off because it's pretty dirty and then I'm gonna pull this one out clean it out and then give them a good primer and paint or whatnot I'll be back this car has a little dent you see how it doesn't align up over here as well it's like dented in Damn, that's that's not good. All right, guys. Now that they're relatively clean, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the grass, and then prime them. Let's see if I have any primer. I don't even know. Never start a job without knowing if you're gonna finish it. Jesus. All right, so this is semi-gloss. This is what I'm gonna use, and then I need a primer. There you go, sandable primer. with them right they look pretty good nothing special just primered and then gloss black and that's how I'm gonna wrap the video guys it's just a little I don't know I just wanted to do something it was my day off today um, I got the Christmas present I installed that and I just said hey let me just take off some little stuff that the uh, E36 had that I didn't like so I did that and uh, that's basically it I'm gonna go to the gym now and then go hang out with some friends and play some video games or something. I don't know. Just thought I'd give you guys just a little video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nothing special. Um, I'll see you next time, guys.